Good morning. I'm happy to uh, introduce to you Mercury Racing's quad cam four valve offshore propulsion. I'm proud of this piece because we've got a lot of innovation wrapped up in a powerful and yet very compact package. It embodies innovation and it is the result of a delightful collaboration between racing's bright young guns and a lot of seasoned marine professionals who know how to keep the product together. It's designed and developed in-house, a team led by Eric Christensen, racing's director of engineering, and a very capable cross-functional team. Using the latest engineering technology and tools, clearly this QC 4V platform is not a warmed over truck engine. Power, of course, means it's faster. Durability means it's stronger. Efficiency means it goes farther. And less frequent maintenance means it will go longer. It's the culmination of all we've learned in 70 years of engineering high-performance marine propulsion from our long-running supremacy in marine propulsion in the nastiest of boating environments our experience shows. Yeah. Or, or maybe it's from our nasty experience our supremacy shows, but either way, it is faster. We're introducing two new models, a 1300 and a 1350 water-cooled twin turbo. Both twin turbocharged with water-cooled turbos runs on 91 octane pump gasoline. Both of these engines rev to 6,500 RPM. The 1300 breathes ambient air from the engine room, as most stern drives do. The 1350 breathes cooler outside air, like our 350 Verado, through a system we call direct air induction. Direct air requires CAD integration with the boat manufacturer, but the benefit of that extra effort is 50 horsepower per engine. It's stronger. The design approach was very similar to our Verado. The block is a four valve, port fuel injection, aluminum block and heads with the addition of quad cams and dry sump efficiency. They're closed cooled, so we have more uniform temperature distribution and optimal running quality and longer life, plus nine liters for the power demands of bigger performance boats. It's a robust piece with a cross-tied crank and bearing structure. You can see the racing DNA in this slide. It's a beefy piece. It looks like a, if you didn't have a ruler next to it, you wouldn't know you weren't looking at the bottom end of a Formula One engine. It's very, very good stuff. We've delivered big power with luxury car-like drivability using racing drive software to control robust components. And we've employed digital and throttle and shift just like Verado. And to control it, a new ergonomic zero effort throttle shift control to signal driver intent. It's smooth, effortless, elegant to see, and a delight to touch. From our two-stroke outboard experience, we've used pulse-separated and timed exhaust tuning. Exhaust tuning combined with a computer-managed boost pressure keeps the turbos spooled up and eliminates the throttle leg and low-end torque deficit one normally associates with lesser turbocharged engines. Therefore, this QC4V platform delivers a very strong bottom end, absolute kick-in-the-pants torque through the entire rev range, and quick throttle response to carry the bow in nasty seas. The exhaust system was an integral component from design inception, so the boater gets an efficient, cool, compact, and robust exhaust system, while the builder gets much simpler fitment and a much less hassle in the exhaust system over the life of the product. Quadzilla, our formerly secret experimental offshore engine where we used four turbos to power record run boats, we learned how to control boost and regulate torque at very high output. We also learned how to twist the shafts inside of a six drive, so we, needed, we, we knew we needed a new drive. So we brought one out. The M8 is a new stern drive. It looks familiar because it looks a lot like the things we've done before, because we've used the lessons we've learned before. You can think of it as the best features of the NXT and the number six drive, with even more robust internal drive components and an all new lower gear case, giving drive ratios from 1.3 to 1.7, we also have a new hydraulic transmission. Everybody knows that big power transmission is a weak point. So here, the M8 and this transmission delivers 35% more capacity than our revered number six drive. And to deliver that power, over 1,300 horsepower to the water, we needed tougher propellers. So we now have this pro-finished CNC machine five and six cleavers, which are also warrantied with the package. With stamina for 1,300 foot-pounds and surface piercing impact, it'll stand up to what the engine delivers. On the farther front, old news, but we've gone greener. 
fuel regulation, common rail port injection, and four valve delivery, plus turbo pressure regulation, yields a combustion system that provides fuel efficiency rewards of 20 to 30 percent more than competitive re-rated engines. So we've got a green package. Uh, hard to imagine, but we do. We also have a longer maintenance interval. It's twice the oil filter and twice the oil change interval, three times longer between valve lash checks, and there's easier access for maintenance points. Northern climates, winterization is simple. Uh, salty environments, water fl flushing is quite simple. And we've integrated an active anode so that we have corrosion resistance unprecedented in a high performance package. At end of life, 95% of the engine's material content is recyclable. We've delivered better overall value. Performance, durability, fuel efficiency, lower maintenance, competitive price, and higher residual mean that this will be a lower cost of ownership. For 70 years, we've gone fast. In fact, that's our legacy at racing. And you can see with the 1300 and the M8 that truly the race never stops. We've delivered on our promise of faster, stronger, farther, and longer. And I invite you to take some time and get a closer look.